Under mounting political pressure and sagging polls on the issue of border security, early last month, President Joe Biden issued an executive order that broadly restricts asylum eligibility for migrants who cross the southern border or navigate southern coastal borders without authorization. Those caught coming illegally are immediately detained, yet can make a case for asylum, but the standard to stay is higher under new Biden rules. Migration experts are paying attention. That's right, the higher screening standards and the restrictions on access to asylum could mean that fewer people end up being able to apply for asylum in the first place. And even if they are able to apply, fewer people will be granted asylum. Together with the illegal entry ban and tightened asylum screenings, new rules push to resolve immigration cases quicker through a new recent arrivals docket. The total number of people the Biden administration is sending out of the United States is approaching these historic levels of the Bush and Clinton administrations. With this most recent action, it's really hard to decipher between what Biden just did and what Trump had been trying to do. This is Erin Hughes. Her non-government organization aids asylum seekers stuck in Mexico waiting for legal permission to enter the U.S. There are hundreds of people that need all of this stuff. Hughes says Biden's new border rules on asylum seekers is leading to an increase of people living in encampments or shelters like these just south of the U.S. border. I'm really nervous as like the election continues. I just feel like the asylum seekers become a pawn. Four weeks after new rules were announced, DHS reported a significant reduction of encounters at the southwest border. Border Patrol's seven-day encounter average decreased more than 40 percent to under 2,400 encounters per day. From the border, John Salazar, Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage. And click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.